Today we're making jambalaya egg rolls. You've seen it, you clicked it, let's make it. I like to start off by getting my prep work out the way. So we're gonna dice up some onion, bell pepper, and some celery. Okay, so now I'm gonna start prepping my chicken. Today I'm gonna be using chicken breast. You can also use chicken thighs if you like. So to our chicken breast, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Followed by some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some Creole seasoning. We're just gonna add that to the chicken. Gonna mix that all up. We want to make sure that we coat the chicken with the seasoning very well. Okay, so now to our hot skillet, we're gonna add in some olive oil. And now we're gonna add in our chicken breast. Okay, so we have the chicken breast in the skillet. We're gonna let it cook for about three to four minutes on each side, and then we're gonna take it out, put it in the pan, and we're gonna finish it off in the oven until it reaches an internal temperature of 165. So now that our chicken has finished cooking in the skillet, we're going to transfer it over to a pan where we're gonna finish off cooking it in the oven at 350 degrees until it reaches an internal temperature of 165. All right guys, so next to the pan, I'm gonna add my andouille sausage. Okay guys, like always, the ingredients and specific measurements to this recipe is going to be in the description box below. All right, so the sausage is looking pretty done. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the skillet. All right, so like I said, I'm making some jambalaya egg rolls and I have to have a special sauce that's gonna go perfectly with these egg rolls. So to a skillet, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter followed by some heavy whipping cream. All right, so the heavy whipping cream has came to a simmer. I'm gonna add in some Creole seasoning and some black pepper. And now I'm going to reduce my heat to medium and I'm gonna start adding in some Parmesan cheese. Add in some hot sauce. And for an added kick, I'm gonna add in a little cayenne pepper. All right, so the sauce is finished cooking. I'm gonna set it to the side for later on. This is gonna go perfectly with those jambalaya egg rolls. Okay, so the chicken is finished cooking thoroughly. It has reached an internal temperature of 165. And I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it up. Okay, so now it's time to start making the jambalaya. Everything is prepped. Let's put it together. So to the skillet, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter. Now to the skillet, I'm gonna add in that onion, bell pepper, and celery. Make sure you get it all in there. We don't wanna waste anything. All right, so we're gonna cook this until it gets a little flagrant. Okay, so next I'm gonna add in some five roasted diced tomatoes. Everything is gonna start coming together real quick. Once you get your prep work out the way, the recipe comes together real quick. Next, we're gonna add in our two cups of rinsed white rice. I'm using long grain. And we're just gonna mix that up. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in some thyme, basil, garlic powder and some onion powder. Followed by a little salt. Now keep in mind guys, I haven't put too much salt or hardly any in this recipe at all. All 
Now we're gonna hit it with some pepper. Okay, next we're going in with some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so now we're gonna add in that chicken and andouille sausage. As you can see guys, it is already looking phenomenal. It is already looking good. All right, so now we're gonna add four cups of chicken broth. Okay, so for the last step, we're just gonna throw in some bay leaves. We're gonna cover it up. We're gonna let this cook for about 30 to 45 minutes. All right, guys, so you see the jambalaya is finished cooking. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the bay leaves from the pot, from the skillet. Now keep in mind guys, this right here is a meal on its own, okay? But like I said, we're making jambalaya egg rolls. So we have just one more step to do. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so first I have a mixture of one part cornstarch and one part water. And we're just gonna brush this on the edges of our egg roll. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of smoked Gouda cheese and I'm gonna place it right here in the corner of the egg roll. Okay, then I'm gonna add in some of my jambalaya mixture. Now you don't wanna put too much in the egg roll. You don't wanna overload it and cause it to break or bust. Okay, and then after that, we're gonna add some of that sauce that we made earlier to the egg roll. Now we're just gonna fold it up. Go in, just like that. Roll it up. and we have ourselves an egg roll guys and I'm gonna set it to the side we're gonna make more egg rolls and we're gonna fry them up okay so in the pot I have some canola oil I have it heated up to 350 degrees I'm gonna add in my egg rolls and I'm gonna do about three at a time I don't want to overcrowd my fryer and you also want to make sure that you move them around a little bit that way they can cook evenly. Okay guys, you see it as always. Just gonna open that up. Oh yeah. Let's see what we're working with. So I'm not gonna keep you any longer. You seen it, you clicked it, you liked it, so you need to make it. Until next time, see you in the next video.